set it up in the house? I like it. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Serena from thriftdiving.com. So what do you do when you've got projects that you want to spray, you don't want to paint it by hand, and you don't have anywhere to spray? What do you do? Well, you come outside and spray, right? And you end up ruining your grass. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to put together a home right spray shelter. It's like a huge tent. I'm five foot 10 and I can kind of fit inside. And I'm gonna show you how to set this up so that you can spray outside, you can do all your furniture, painting projects outside. You don't have to destroy your grass or your driveway. All right, stick with me because I'm gonna show you how to put it together. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take everything out. It's gonna come with two long poles like this and all you do is just slide them into place. It has little bungees. And we're just gonna slide this into place. Just like that. Okay, so I'm gonna spread this out and you see the home right spray shelter name here. You want that facing you because this is how it's going to stand up like a big tent. Now on top, you're gonna to see two casings and all you wanna do is slide that pole right in there. You're gonna see one here and one, one in the front and one in the back. So I'm gonna take the first pole and slide it through the first casing all the way through. And now we've got the other bend right here. All right, we're gonna go through the other casing here that's on the top. Stick that right in there. There's the first bend, keep going. And there's the second bend. Okay, now what we can do is stand this up. And when we stand this up, we're gonna cross the two poles. So this pole and this pole are gonna cross and we're gonna anchor it down into the ground. Take this little stake and I'm gonna put it through this little part here, this little metal part. I'm gonna take this little bungee cord here and just put a stake right through it. This will help keep the back of it from caving in. So I've put the home right spray shelter up. Now I'm gonna take a couple minutes just to do some quick spraying of these lamps that I got from the thrift store. And then we're gonna use the Fine Finish Max and spray the crown molding. But let's knock this out first. So it's day two, we've gotten the lamps painted and I come out here and I left this up last night and I come out here and I've discovered that the neighborhood cats, the strays, have decided to make a litter box out of my spray shelter and it's disgusting. So we can't even spray our molding until we get the poop out of the spray shelter and I am just disgusted. Like seriously and it smells like poo. Oh that's hard! <laughs> it's hard! I'm so grossed out. So here is a helpful tip. Do not leave your spray shelter up overnight. Neighborhood cats will think it's a litter box. Okay, so we've cleaned up all the cat poop. <laughs> We've put some semi-gloss paint in our finish max and we have set up the crown molding and I have pretty big pieces of molding. These are 10 foot pieces of molding. Uh, there's a total of 80 feet. So this should take us probably no more than 10 minutes crossing my fingers. 